So you wanna learn Python fast? Well, you reached the right video, let me explain. This video is brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. Learning Python fast. What's the problem with that? Well, fast is relative depending on what you're talking about. Sometimes that one month to learn it. Sometimes it's a week. Sometimes it's two years. Sometimes it's five years. It all depends on your perspective. Today, we're going to give you some realistic perspective and solve a problem for you guys so that you can have your expectations tapered. So I'm coming at this at an aspect of, hey, you kind of know um, the fundamentals of programming and you maybe taken a course or two, but you seem to can't get a job or you don't, you're not confident in your programming level. And we're going to try to get you a job within maybe, you know, three months, six months to a year. I think that's a relative uh, ex a good expectation if you already have at least a coding base. If coding brand new to you, this is the first video you ever seen coding, well, we gotta adjust those expectations more unless you're a rock star and you're just able to learn and pick up on things faster. But I'm gonna cover all that in this video and kind of get you guys learning Python real fast. But before we get started, what I want you guys to do is please share your experience learning Python. How, what are some of your roadblocks you've been having? What are some of the successes? What have been your challenges to learning Python fast? Can you find a job? Just share that below because I love to see your guys' response and then how your response is different once you guys uh, view this video and then we kind of go from there. So at the end of the day, guys, to learn Python fast, start with the fundamentals and the syntax. Start there first. Hey, learning arrays, learning the, the, how to write code, just the basics, all that good stuff. Fundamentals, guys, just start there. You wanna be able to read the code and see what it's actually doing. And that's a good way to understand, know if you are, are good at your fundamentals. You can, within relative speaking, you not, might not know everything that's going on in that line of code, but you can kind of decipher things, do a Google search, all that good stuff. So start with the syntax and fundamentals. That's the first takeaway. Second takeaway, project-based learning, guys. I can't emphasize this enough. If you're not doing project-based learning, you're not doing yourself a, uh, you're doing yourself a disservice, guys end of the day if you ain't completing projects you are not putting yourself in a position to win um you're just gonna be a cold writing junkie when i what do i mean by that is you write code that doesn't have any impact that don't solve any problems you need to start the project-based learning to get to that next step guys and then the final step is once you start doing the training project-based learning we want to transition that to real world projects real world industry, real world business. This is where you're gonna look at the job markets and postings and um, your local job market to kind of figure out, hey, these people, they have this problem. Let me see if I can um, have a project that's similar to what they're doing to solve that problem. So when I come in for that interview, I'm great. But again, we'll stick to just the learning right now and we'll get into the actual um, the finding of the job and the job market a little bit later, guys. So at the end of the day, you have to put yourself in a position to win. And the best way to do that is to learn, okay, what's the best use case for Python? Kind of go. I like Python because it's quick, easy to learn, get started fast with a lot less relative setup on your computer than other programming languages also you know you can use it in data science you can use it in certain applications and, and it, it very quick very agile very easy to learn so it always had that i think it's probably one of the best um you know in, in addition to a php i think um, to actually start using as a first program it's, it's very going to help you learn really quickly kind of start with the takeaways uh, at the end of the day, 
when I first learned, started learning how to program, guys, I was lost. Ain't know what to do. Didn't know where to go. I am a SQL developer by trade as far as just where I do a lot of my work at. But again, the database got to function with the application. So you got to be able to pull, retrieve new data with that Python code. So it kind of, I had to learn Python in conjunction with it. I use a uh, program called Odoo, an open source application to learn, um, do my code reviews, all that good stuff. Again, guys, we tell you how to do this in our seven step guide. So go ahead and check out my seven step guide. Links are below, it's free and um, it's gonna help you get started learning Python really fast. Also, we have a, some premium courses as well. We have a 30 day Python programming guide or programming um, course. Links below to that guys, go check that out. And also subscribe to the channel. Um, we cover a lot of Python related stuff as well. Help you guys out. So go ahead and do that, support the channel. And I surely appreciate it. So let's jump into uh, some additional details about Python. I like the fact that you guys have already came here and you want more answers. So that's, that's a good thing. We're good there. I want to focus in your learning so that you can learn just what you need to know to get that next job, get you to that. I know a lot of you guys, you're, you're not gonna get that concept at first because you're used to, I gotta learn everything before I get a job. No, don't think like that. You only need to know enough to be able to solve the first problem at your job, you know how to speak to things. And if you have an agile approach to learn, once you learn the base, Everything else is agile learning, stacking up on top of it till five, 10 years from now, you have a really good specific um, knowledge about programming. Most people do not start by knowing everything then getting a job. It don't work that way for most of us regular people. Maybe you have some uh, super high-end rockstar developers out there who know everything at the beginning, but most of us, we gotta take baby steps. And I want you to know just enough to get that job, be able to crush it on that interview and have that ability, that framework to learn very quickly based off of uh, the information, their their applications and everything that they fight on. That's what I want you to do. That's the way you learn fast. You're learning, making money, building experience all at the same time by using in seven step guide below guys going to help you guys out. I can't tell you how 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 that's gonna benefit you guys in the long run. But at the end of the day, guys, start with those fundamentals. Fundamentals and the syntax. Start reading that code, guys. That's gonna be critical. Start doing that project-based learning, guys. That's number two. Start doing that. Number three, let's start checking out the industry to figure out what jobs are in your area so that we can start really getting you specific learning at uh, material you well you know what to learn or what's going to help you guys out long. so like subscribe to the uh channel guys like subscribe all that good stuff go ahead and check out my links below that free seven step guide I'll put a link of it to the screen here and also my premium courses guys so um, at the end of the day let's get started you made the first step watching this video Go ahead and make the second step, guys. So getting that seven-step guide and checking out those premiums. I'll see you guys. Get it.